Hello, this is Overlord Nigel here, and I'm introducing my Rise of the Reggie Gigas team. Now, this strategy completely revolves around making Reggie Gigas even stronger than it already is, while at the same time um, taking away his weaknesses at a fast rate. Now, uh, the starting strategy for this, while a bit slow, is definitely worth the payoff. Um, first two Pokemon I send out are Clefable and Drifloom. Uh, now, the basic start strategy is to have Clefable use the priority move Follow Me to make it so everyone attacks Clefable. Um, now, Clefable has a high um, health point uh, due to my effort values and has a boost on both defense and special defense making it a bit of a defensive juggernaut for Clefable. Uh, Drifloom is using Bulk Up. Now what Bulk Up does is it raises its defense and special defense by 50%. Now due to Clefable, Drifloom is kept pretty much safe as houses. Um, the only weakness I do know for this is that um, if you hit with a double team move that follow me doesn't uh, really protect it. Now, uh, the item that I've placed on this Clefable is Leftovers. Now, the idea is just basically to keep Clefable going. Um, so, for three turns, Clefable needs to survive. Uh, so, again, Drifloom, bulk up, Clefable, follow me. Uh, now my Drifloom, I've effort valued it to have a high health points and a high speed. Uh, the only really important thing is the high speed. I find a high health is beneficial for this sort of strategy because if they do hit with um, something like Surf or something, my normal uh, weakness, uh, it can take at least one or two hits, hopefully, which should be enough to keep you going. Uh, right, carry on the strategy. So again, raising defences while keeping things safe. Now it should be stockpile two. Now as you can see, this Clefable takes a heck of a lot of damage. And doesn't really regain that much, but, you know, every little counts. So again, for the last time, Stockpile to raise it to 150% um, bonus. While Clefable, follow me again. This is probably the last time. I suspect you'll find that my opponent should finish off Clefable this turn. Which is about average. Now normally I get two to three stockpiles in. It's very rare for me only to get one in. Now uh, the weakness of this strategy so far is... Uh, if their opponent's got a fighting move, Clefable falls like a, a brick off the top of a house. Uh, normally with quite a uh, devastating eff uh, effect. Now, uh, here we go. The opponent attacks and... Oh, Clefable survives this one. So, yep. Yeah, this next attack will finish Clefable off. <laughs> Meaning I will now have to... Uh, enter the next stage of this strategy which is to bring out Regigigas to the field. So we go, select. Gotta love the slow speed that uh, the internet works at. Or was that just mine? Anyway, Regigigas comes out. Regigigas' effect slow start causes the pr uh, a half in attack and in its speed. Now, the next part of the strategy is to get Drifloom to use skill swap, switching slow start with Drifloom's Unburden. Uh, basic idea is here is at the end of this turn, slow start no longer exists. Now, what I've got Reggie Gigas to do is use Psych Up on Drifloom, meaning that when uh, Psych Up activates um, at the end of the turn. Regigigas will gain a 150% bonus on its defense. Now it's already got a defense over 200s, so that now leaves with 
about 400 to 500 um, defense in both stats which makes it very hard to actually inflict any real damage to Regigigas uh, now now that this is done we activate the next part of the strategy which is to get Driflum to use Swagger on Regigigas uh, while Regigigas uses Earthquake which affects both my opponents but won't affect Driflum because of its flying type now uh, while using stag uh, Swagger is deemed a bit of a risky strategy um, due to the fact that Regigigas has a Lumberry attached um, it automatically removes the confusion stat created by Swagger now because of skill swap Regigigas now has Unburden uh, so that uh, when Regigigas uses its Lumberry uh, Swagger activates doubling the speed of Regigigas so we now have Regigigas with double attack, double speed, and a 150% increase on all its stats. Now, this Regigigas isn't anything really to write home about. Uh, Stat-wise, it isn't good. The nature's wrong. I've got a better one on black and white, but we'll go into that later. Uh, now, Driflum is pretty much done everything it can do so I'm now going to activate Baton Pass to replace it with another Pokemon, in this case Alakazam uh, Regigigas one last earthquake before Driflum disappears doing an incredibly large amount of damage as I said there's no effort values in Regigigas' attack and it's not a particularly strong Regigigas it's uh, probably the weakest I've ever worked with so far. Now, uh, as you can see, my super fast Gigas does Earthquake, wiping out the War Turtle, and pretty much almost killing my Tiana. Uh, Driftlum uses Baton Pass to switch out, or oh, it will do in a minute, uh, switch out for Alakazam. Now, Alakazam is a high speed high special attack sweeper pokemon with not particularly uh, brilliant defenses but because of baton pass um, alakazam now has the defense bonuses of 150 percent on both defenses that driflum had so you've now got a sweeper with a reasonable defense meaning it won't go down in one hit which is alakazam's main weakness now uh, I've got Alakazam with a nice variety of moves now it's just going to use Psychic because it's most powerful and it gains the bonus of uh, type to move now I'm going to use Drain Punch now uh, the problem with Regigigas uh, startup is that sometimes people focus on the Regigigas and do a lot of damage to it and to be honest you want people to focus on Regigigas um, now why I've countered this in this generation is by placing Drain Punch on Regigigas and basically when his health gets a bit low just hitting people with Drain Punch because of the double attack it means you get a lot of health back um, now Alakazam goes in hits with Psychic now he's fully effort valued in special attack speed which means uh, obviously Shinx didn't stand a chance uh, and that's pretty much the strategy. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, the uh, strategy helps you guys in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll have some videos up soon. Goodbye.